I'm gonna build a filter box to go on my workbench. Probably put it where the empty beer bottles are. Um, that will filter out sawdust, help me make less of a mess while I'm carving things for Miss Fangie. It's based on these boxes that I see people making on YouTube, the larger ones with the big box fan. Mine's gonna be a small one, about 12 inches by 12 inches by nine inches that will fit on my workbench. All right, let's see how it goes. So what you probably can't tell from my scribbled notes here is that I'm gonna need four dividers, 12 inches by 12 inches, and one baffle. Each of these is gonna have holes, basically the inside of the box drilled out of it or cut out of them. And a fan's gonna go in there and then the baffle, the dividers are gonna hold these filters in place. By the way, this MDF is hella dusty. So, oh, got my mask on and I'm not even social distancing in here. So hopefully you can imagine this. This is gonna be the way the box looks. There'll be two open sides and then I'm gonna have filters, two filters, a fan, another filter, and of course this top and this front will be covered. The front and back will be open with just a sort of a spacer in there to hold the filters in place. Okay, well, two things I forgot to, to do are two problems. One, I've got these 12 by nines here to be the sides, be like this. So it'll be this high and this wide or this long for the layers. But I also forgot to put, to build a, or cut a piece of this quarter inch ply, which is gonna be used to hold the fan in place in the box. So the other real problem is my MDF, once I cut it down to nine inches and then to cut out two 36 or two 13 inches, I realized I didn't have enough for two 13 inch pieces. So I may regrettably be forced to run over to Home Depot again because I never do a project where I don't end up there twice. All right, well, here's my new piece of MDF. The truth is that last piece, I probably could have gotten two 13 by nine pieces out of, but I didn't cut it right. And that's why my dad always said, measure twice, cut once. What he didn't tell me was measure once, cut once, make another trip to Home Depot. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut. This is for the outside of the box. These are gonna be the spacers and the baffle. So there's five pieces here that are 12 by 12. I'm gonna to need to cut square holes. Basically, these are just gonna be a spacer. So there'll be like a square hole here that's all but maybe a half inch around the edges. And then the, one of them will be a circle. And I'll explain that later, but it's, um, it's in order to improve the productivity or the efficiency of the fan. So I'm gonna get started, but I'll be using my uh, saber saw. Oops, wrong. My cheapo Black & Decker saber saw to uh, cut these out. Okay, so I drilled a hole, cut three quarters of an inch just around the edges, and I'm gonna end up with four pieces that look like this, and one that is a circle. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. So this piece is gonna hold the fan in place, and it's gonna have to have a little leg that comes across that I'm gonna have to cut in the middle to mount the fan. And I'll figure that out later when I'm getting ready to mount it. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna cut this piece out and this piece out. And then all I have left to cut is the baffle and it should be mostly just putting together from here on out. As you can see, I'm not too worried about the cleanliness of the cuts. This is just going inside this box and it's just for me. It's not like this is a sale piece or something like that. Um, and it's just to do a job in the shop. So a lot of times, as you can see, I just throw stuff together for my shop, that's okay. Now all that's left is to cut the baffle and I'm gonna cut a round hole in my last piece of square MDF uh, in order to uh, improve the efficiency of the fan. Okay, so the fan said it was a nine inch fan. Um, I don't know where to get that from. The actual fan blades are about eight inches. So I'm giving it a little bit of extra for the baffle and as you can see what I did is I've got a, a little over a four inch string here and I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. This should allow me to do a perfect circle. No reference to the band intended. 
There we go. Good as it gets. Now I'll use a drill, create a hole, and just sort of See, eyeball it. I have a tendency to work messy. And um, I like to tell myself the classic, that's because I'm a genius, but that's probably more about being lazy. Um, I spend a lot of time looking for stuff that I had just here a second ago. Um, what I did do is just take a little sandpaper, uh, not with a ton of work, and just go over these edges uh, because the saber saw just is not a very clean, it's a pretty cheap one and it doesn't cut very clean. I'm going to start building the box. I am going to be using screws and wood glue. I'm going to try to use screws in this stuff, um, but they're not very long, so hopefully I don't split this up too much. If I do, then I'll have to come up with a different plan, maybe use uh, nails or something. Um, but hopefully uh, this is going to hold together fine. So the first piece went on okay, but even with the small screws, it did want to start splitting. So I switched to a bigger bit to drill pilot holes with because I'm going to continue to use them. Um, but I'm uh, going to drill pilot holes all the way into the second piece. Um, now I'm getting ready to start putting the side supports on. Once the side supports are on, I can start putting in each individual layer as we go. You can see this one went on much better. Uh, but I am going to, I have switched to hand tightening the screws just to keep the, uh, just to try and prevent more of the splitting. But uh, I, I feel confident that we're on the right track here. So hopefully this is making sense. I've got the first three sides on and the first layer of the back on this will go on the top. And this is going to actually be able to open and close so I can get my um, filters in and out. Okay, I'm getting there. As you can see, I did switch from using the filters as spacers to two half inch uh, MDF, just in case I got glue on the thing. I didn't want to glue plastic down in it. Uh, I've got two layers on, getting ready to do the third layer and then mount the fan. Okay, so I'm making mistakes along the way. That's okay. And most folks would not want to use screws. If you have one of those fancy nail guns, you can use that. I don't have one of those yet. But this is going pretty well for my standards. Now what I need to do is I'm going to drop the fan in there. And this is offset just a little bit because the fan uh, motor, I may have to trim that down just a little bit. It's going to hold the fan right here. And um, then there'll be another layer and another filter. So really, we're really getting close. Okay, so I've got the fan mounted in. I haven't, I'm going to replace this screw with a shorter one like these ones. Um, I am going to take some MDF because this uh, is not a great design. I'm just going to take a couple pieces and um, screw them on there. It won't bother the fan much, but it will uh, help stabilize that. I just don't want that to break if I start moving this thing around. I'm also going to have to wire it now, and I want to wire it before I get the last pieces in because the last pieces are the baffle and then the final piece and then the top. All right, so I've finished wiring it and I'm gonna turn this on. And what I want, there's actually three settings. I am gonna have to short that, uh, this is gonna look great. I'm going to have to shore up that board, but that's okay. We are on the way. Okay, so fun story. I uh, made a mistake <laughs> and um, still had my wires uh, showing, or they were uncovered and still had it plugged in. And accidentally crossed them and burned out the motor, burned out the switch. So I had to go get a new fan and I got a new switch. This time I got a toggle switch, which uh, should help me avoid that in the future because there's just going to be less to connect. So I'm going to take this fan out, put this fan in. I have to take this one apart. It should only take a few minutes. Okay, well, the fan is back installed and it works. I've got my new toggle switch on here. It's a little loose, but I may fiddle with that a little bit later, figure out a way to solidify it in there. The wiring doesn't matter if it's a little exposed. All the actual metal is not exposed. <sighs> Fun. All right. Now we got to put on the last two pieces, last three pieces, really. And we're done. Okay. So now I've got all the layers on filter, 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 fan. And it runs with the baffle in. Um, 
it's ready to go. I just need to put the lid on and I've got four feet I'm gonna put on the bottom just so this MDF doesn't get all crumbed up underneath. And um, I usually like to put feet on things. So I'll probably put those on first and then put on the lid. All right, so this isn't perfect. Um, this MDF just didn't work with my hinges. So I used some hooks and some of these little mini bungees. That'll keep it down there tight enough for just keeping in my shop. I'm repairing some holes I drilled to try to, oh, I'll probably need to do that one too. Um, but it works. There's the fan on it actually pushes quite a bit of air through here. So now the trick is just put in the uh, filters. All right, I've got two filters dropped in. Here's my third, it just drops right in there. And this is just for my shop, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now it's a desk filter. We'll see how well it does. Move a lot of air when it didn't have the filters in. And now I'll put it like this and when I'm carving, hopefully it'll pull a lot of that sawdust and get some air going, capture it. All right, well, that's my little project. Not pretty.